let's discuss some of the concepts and terminology used with the UEG server. The primary building block on UEG is referred to as a trunk. A trunk is a website that can host one or more applications. A trunk would usually host the UEG portal on which the applications will be listed. An application is a configuration unit on a UEG trunk which provides access to an internal application of some sort. An application could be, for example, Outlook Web Access, but it could also be a button to establish a VPN connection to the corporate network. UAG can have one or more trunks, and each trunk has an IP address and an associated public host name. The public host name is the URL that users will be typing into their browsers when they want to access the UAG portal. Most of UAG's customers prefer to use HTTPS to secure their access and will therefore elect to create an HTTPS trunk on UAG. However, UAG also offers the option of creating an HTTP trunk with a portal. Another option is the ability to have an HTTPS trunk with a portal and a special redirect trunk which automatically redirects users to the HTTPS trunk if they typed in the URL with the HTTP prefix. This makes trunk access easier because most users are not accustomed to typing in the HTTPS prefix with typing a URL into their browser. When configuring an application on UEG, the administrator uses the application wizard to define the properties of the backend server that hosts the application. This could be, for example, the hostname and TCP IP port of a SharePoint server. An application contains several other options, such as the initial URL that is launched when the application is clicked on by the user. Another important concept with UAG is the configuration activation, usually referred to simply as activation. When you make configuration changes on a UAG server, the changes do not take effect immediately. For changes to apply, the administrator must perform an activation, which is a process that configures or reconfigures the various components, such as TMG and IIS. For example, if you create a new trunk, the activation process creates a new website within IIS and creates access rules in TNG to provide access to the new site. A phrase that you will be hearing a lot is SSL VPN. VPN stands for Virtual Private Network, and this is a connection between two computers, usually a client computer and a server, over the Internet. A VPN connection encrypts the data that is exchanged between the client and server, making it secure. SSL VPN is a type of VPN that uses the secure socket layer protocol for encryption. SSL is very versatile and popular and is used by many VPN servers worldwide. 